News Today. First responders here in Long Beach say they started the program back in January of this year, and so far they've only had to administer the sedative to about three dozen people. So far, they say it's been successful. Body cam video from back in November shows Long Beach police trying to detain a man at a metro rail station. The situation lasts for more than 30 minutes before the man jumps through a busted out train window and at officers. It's situations like this one where police chief Robert Luna says instead of using any more force by officers, a fire paramedic came to sedate the man using a sedative known as midazolam. And then immediately got him to the hospital where he needs to be. He doesn't need to be in jail. He needs immediate medical care, and that's exactly what we here in Long Beach did in this video. This is now part of a pilot program where nearly 1,000 Long Beach firefighters and police officers, along with 60 dispatchers, are trained to recognize a person experiencing agitated delirium, whether through drug or alcohol use, mental illness, or uncontrolled anger. Once on scene, only a trained paramedic can assess the person and administer midazolam if needed. Even though the fire department, our paramedics, have had protocol in place uh, for many years to use midazolam uh, for different types of incidents, including agitated delirium, the big change is that now we're working in concert with PD, and now it's a joint effort uh, to, again, bring medical intervention to these uh, folks. But there is major criticism surrounding whether any sedatives should be used outside a healthcare setting. On Wednesday, three Colorado officers and two paramedics were indicted for the death of Elijah McLean, who prosecutors say was placed in a carotid hold and injected with a sedative ketamine when stopped by police while walking home back in 2019. Long Beach isn't using ketamine and says midazolam has been adopted for agencies across the county. I think it's important to note that everybody in public safety is always striving to improve our performance. At the end of the day, the outcome is very positive for the person getting the care. Both firefighter and police chiefs say they will continue to monitor how this program is progressing, but they can't say for how long it will run just yet. Reporting in Long Beach, Leslie Bedding, KCAL 9 News.